All right, this is 333 Crypto. And tonight, I'm going to make my third video in a row about Balancer. B A L. Why in the heck would somebody make three videos in a row about something? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I haven't seen a DeFi protocol like this in a long time. This is probably one of the most amazing stories in DeFi so far in 2019 and 2020. The growth is fantastic. It's incredible. It is beautiful. And that's why I'm making this video. Look at this, my friend. We're going to scroll down here. Bitcoin's at number one, Ethereum number two. I always focus on DeFi, so we're going to scroll down here and compound. I'll tell you, up until, uh, you know, Balancer, this thing was it, man. This came out of nowhere in 10 days and just blew the roof off of DeFi. Compound went from nowhere to number one. I mean, they went from $60 to $300 and 70 whatever, and then back down to 250 And they are number one right now. Number one in DeFi. Number one is still, is still, absolutely, right here. We're going to hit it. Number one is Compound. From nowhere to number one. Knocking out Maker. And I love Maker. But that's what Compound did, right? And that was impressive. But I'll tell you, nobody could have saw what was coming next. Because Maker, Compound's at 24, Maker's at 29, we're going to scroll down through the DeFi world. Kyber. Now remember here, Compound and Maker are in lending, DeFi lending. Kyber is in DeFi DEX. They're a decentralized exchange. And Kyber has been the big dog in a lot of ways as, as a DEX, as a decentralized exchange. But I'm going to tell you, Balancer has come out of nowhere and they have left Kyber in the dust. So we're going to scroll down here. Kyber's at 41. Synthetics is at 45. Augur at 48. Aave, which I love. And again, they're in lending. Lending's always stronger than the DEXs when it comes to total money in the protocol. And they're at 54. And we're going to scroll down here some more. And then we're going to find floating here, way down in the 70s, is this crazy little coin called Balancer. The coin from nowhere, the coin that literally came out days ago, days ago, and came literally out of nowhere from here around six, seven bucks, up over 20, flo floated a little bit in the 1920 range, and then here the big dogs said, hey man, we want some, so they dropped it. They tried to get everybody stops if there were any placed, and then slowly they're accumulating. And they're still accumulating as we run sideways. And I'll tell you why they're accumulating. Because this is cheap. There might be 34 million total tokens, but you can't use that when you're trying to value this company. Because those 34 million tokens are going to be released gradually over like 10 years is the estimation to the folks that use the protocol. If I stake my money in Balancer, I get tokens released to me every week. Balancer tokens. Portions of tokens depending on how much money I have in the protocol. But right now, floating out there, there's probably about six million in the circulating supply. And of that six million, plenty, a lot of those are locked up, and a lot of those are in the hands of the people that use the protocol. And I can tell you, the people that use the protocol, they like the protocol. So they're not gonna sell those tokens. And I can prove it. I'm not, I can prove that they like the protocol. Not that they won't sell their tokens. Understand, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy who makes videos. So make no decisions based upon anything I say. My videos are for entertainment only. But there's about 6 million tokens out there. And I, I would say they're in strong hands. And I'm going to show you why I think they're in strong hands. All right. So we have Balancer. It's at 77. And it's behind a lot of players in the DeFi space. So then we're going to say, okay, well... Why do, you, why do you like Balancer? Why are you making three videos in a row? Don't you have anything else to do with your life? I'm making three videos in a row because I'm impressed. If Balancer were a pretty girl, I, I would be telling all my friends about her. 
I mean, if Ballinger were, you know, some great athlete, I would, you know, discuss them every day because certain folks are just at the top of their game, right? Right. There's certain people that just lead certain things. And then every once in a while, someone special comes along, a game changer, someone that does something different. And they really, you know, rise to the top because of that. I think that's what we're seeing with Balancer. What Balancer does is something that nobody else really thought of until now. And I'm going to explain that. What Balancer does is if you invest your money in a protocol, if I put my ETH in a protocol and I'm wanting to generate 8 to 10%, you know, annually on that, as the price of ETH fluctuates, I can lose value of my ETH that's locked up. And that loss is hard to stabilize. So what Balancer did is they said, well, you know, if you want to minimize your loss on any ETH, uh, on any ETH uh, as the price goes down, you can counterbalance that with a stable token, you know, like USD. Or you could put five or six tokens into one basket, and they all can stabilize each other right, by spreading out any losses or any gains. And that's what Balancer does, right? That's where they got the name, Balancer, right? They want to balance things out to make things less risky. So if I'm a big dog and I want to put 10 million into a protocol and have it be safe and stable, I would much rather put that in Balancer versus somewhere that's more volatile, correct? So that's what this protocol does and no other protocol before it has done. So what does that matter, right? I mean, gee whiz, you're just making another video, guy. I mean, come on. No, 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 no. No, no. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you why it matters. Because it doesn't matter just to me. It matters to people with a lot of money. A lot of money. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Compound is in lending, and lending protocols tend to attract more money, right? So that's why they always lead. Compound leads with $630 million locked up. Maker, $463 million. Synthetics, which is derivatives, they have about $262 million. And then Aave, which is in lending, have $115 million. See, so four of the top five are in the lending space. But look at here, my friend. At number five, we have a DEX. A decentralized exchange. What? I'm confused. They never have this much money locked up. Well, they do now. Balancer has changed everything. If you look here, Balancer literally in April had 120,000 locked up. Then they came here and they fine tuned their protocol and they got things started and then they released their token. And when they did, they went from 36 million locked up. Look at the dates here, my friend. June 19th to June 25th, 26th to 105 million. You heard me correctly. 30 million-ish to 105 million. That is a meteoric rise. That is insane. What's even more insane is this. We'll go back here. Oh, sorry. Clicked the wrong box. What's even more insane is if you go here to the rankings again and you hit DEXs, decentralized exchanges, they aren't just dominating the other exchanges. <laughs> They've beat them all down so bad, I don't think they can ever get up again. Balancer has 105 million. I love Kyber. And Kyber has 6 million locked up. Bancor, I've made videos on them. They're awesome. 17.9 million locked up. Uniswap, one hell of a protocol, smoking, chain, you know, great decks, 23 million. If you look here, Balancer has more locked up than all of its competitors combined. So why would I make three videos in a row? Because I ain't never seen nothing like this before. Never. Matter of fact, for the first time ever, I think we're going to see Balancer move into the top four. I think it's going to overtake Ave. When I started writing, doing this video tonight, they were at 101 million. Now they're at 105. So I'm not excited. I'll tell you who's excited. The people with the money. Because they're putting their money into this protocol. Because it's safe, it's stable, and the returns are good. And what I mean by the returns being good, when you stake your money here, you also get paid in balancer tokens. 
Balancer has less than 6 million running around right now, and those are probably locked up tight. 35 more million to be handed out. In order to get those, you gotta be, you gotta have your money in the protocol. This, they're, they're estimating it'll probably take 10 years for those tokens to be distributed. So we have a low float, we have good demand, we have demand because you don't put $100 million into something if without demand. So we have good demand, we have a low float, and you have to ask yourself, what is going to happen with that token price? Something. It's not going down. Not any, you know. I mean, it might go down as they accumulate and try to beat people up and take their tokens. But I think in the long haul it goes up. And remember, I'm not an investment advisor. Just a guy who makes videos. It's just my opinion. But I think that's what's going to happen. I think folks are going to want this token. I'm one of them. I think folks are going to want to put their money in the balancer exchange. Because in the exchange, if they stake their tokens, they can get free balancer. They can get balancer tokens, which have value. They also get a piece of the protocol funds. If, if the protocol generates money, that money goes to the people that are invested in the protocol. So there's a lot of ways to make money here. And Balancer is the first one to do this. Oh yes, there will be copycats. How could you not copy it, right? It's too brilliant. And they will copy it. But I'll tell, it, tell you what, Balancer is off to the races and they are ahead of everybody else. You don't do what they just did in a week. I've never seen it before. You know what this is a big victory for? Decentralized exchanges. You know, you don't have to worry about your Binances and your Coinbases, the centralized folks. This is you and me, this is us. We build these exchanges. We do. Decentralization. This is where your money should be. You should trade on these exchanges and use them. But again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy who makes videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably make another one about this, a token. I just think it's so exciting. I'm going to keep learning and learning. And I've learned a lot, but I didn't want to get into everything on this video. Just watch these numbers, my friend. Follow the money, right? A token's only worth something if people want it. And people are paying attention to Balancer. And you know what's even cool about it is right now the best place to buy it, in my opinion, is at the Balancer website. You can go right here to the exchange. I rec you know, I trading ETH for Balancer is probably the easiest way to do it. Balancer isn't available in a lot of different places. If you look here, it's only on a few exchanges. But as it gets on more exchanges, you're going to have more demand. And with more demand, you'll get a price increase. It's so early. It's been out for less than a week. Wow. Check it out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. Know that I appreciate you. I promise to always make good DeFi videos. Good luck, my friend. Enjoy your life. Have a great day. And uh, I'll chat with you soon. Bye.